Hello everyone, today we're going to be checking out the 2023 build. So yeah, this is 2023, and you guys might be thinking this looks the same as 2021, or you know, it just doesn't look like 2023, but here's some proof. Version 2023, 0427, all this yip yappity. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd like to show off um, all the developer stuff that was in 2023 and maybe some there's also custom makeup and props for developers so let's get right into it to start off let's go to the dev only tab in the watch which has the developer display obviously this display is developer and community team on the, the fps monitor which i actually don't know what that does i don't know what it does um it's not showing anything in game so i don't know here we have the test case management which obviously isn't going to show because there's none this isn't real record you know, the bug report screen, whatever any of this means. Um, profiles, obviously, and since I'm a developer, I have it hidden. Avatar. Which I think I can actually change somewhere. I can't. I don't know how to change it, to be honest. Developer badge, obviously. Let's go to the rec center. Chocolate popcorn is in this version. Um, I believe sparklers are in this one as well. I, yep, here we go, sparklers. So let's let's give these a little show off. So here's sparklers. Here's an actual chance to see them because not everybody has been in a lobby with a like this kid before. So yeah, these are sparklers. Chocolate popcorn, which I'm sure you've seen before in the leaks. It it, were, it looks like a little popcorn, just you know, recolored. Oh, and just to get this out of the way, just in case anybody is wondering, in the top right, that is not my IP. We get our maker pen. Here we have the new maker pen UI, and there's actually dev and debug only settings in the maker pen. So if we look here, we have an ignore ink button. This ignores the ink limit. Always enable circuit snapping and auto detach object board removed. I haven't tried those out, so I'm not sure what they do. But there's also a dev section inside the watch. So if we go and find developer sandbox apple music promotion this is the button that was in the 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 rec center for a little bit this had the little apple apple music promotion here's the performance tab this is to monitor performance and stuff there's a lot going on right here um there's nothing really that i understand so i think i'll just leave that like that so yeah, I have the Friendotron, because, you know, once again, developer, and it works, and I can send gifts to people if other people are online, but nobody is. Here we have, cannot place additional keepsakes in this room, Oh man. So this is the keepsake, these are inside in, um, invasion events. And here we also have the icebreakers, which again, are another developer only prop so i have all the pop-up shops um yeah this is oh yeah sparklers in here i don't know why it spawns backwards just more pop-up shops i believe there's also developer circuits yep dev circuits big debug chip hmm i wonder what this is does this like take up a lot of ink no chip settings room owner lock i don't know what these are but i'm sure it's for testing something here we have debug log, player outfit, get equipped avatar item tags, request post game rewards. This is used to give yourself items. I believe there's also a developer circuit v1 chip, so let's go ahead and see if we can check those out. Alright, so I found some of the dev uh, circuits v1 chips. Here's the event, or the, uh, the event broadcast. This is how you broadcast to other rooms, how they did in events. Here we have the paintball uh, circuit boards that they use. Here's the unit cube. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. All right, so I've actually found um, a hidden button. So we're gonna go ahead and mess with this. So if we go ahead and open my watch, we have a new button called debug. And this is actually in 2022, and I posted screenshots of it in a server before, but I've actually never seen what the 2023 version looks like. So let's just take a look. So here we have the audio. Um, reset audio, broken audio, next scene logo, switch audio devices. So I believe this is if your audio is broken. Um, here's the build information, which is 
usually stored inside the dorm room, if you guys know what I'm talking about. The debug commands, I actually don't know how to get the debug commands. I don't even know if any of them work, but I can't even type, so. Throw turning. We're going to do multiplier. We're going to put this all the way to 20 and see if that does anything. So if I just barely throw the ball, it literally went flying. Let's turn this one up as well. Let's go ahead and just... Dude, it goes flying if I just barely touch it. Whew. I be Dude, that is awesome. Okay, so turns out you can actually I can actually show you guys what it looks like to create a broadcast event. This is the events like retcon where if you look at somebody who said broadcasting above their head and they're in every single instance, they don't have to be in just one room themselves. So if we go to create new event and we can actually change um, all the settings. So let's say our event name is going to be this cover photo. We can take one. Um, I don't know why that's on. Description. Blah, blah, blah. Event location. If we just put at coach, it'll let us search. That doesn't work. Oh, it does. Wait, it works in 2023, but it didn't used to work in 2021. So let's go to the Zest Center. Um, have that be default. Public. Overflow instances allowed. Shared room chat. Who can broadcast? Room owners and hosts. Who can request to broadcast? It's everyone. Main tag. And all of them. Save event. Obviously, it's not going to work because it doesn't work yet. But, I mean, yeah. That's what it looks like to show that. I couldn't find any of the dead things. So, yeah. Let me know what you guys think about all these uh, developer things in the 2023 build. Um, this is actually really fun to showcase because I've actually never seen these before myself. So we both experienced them at the same time. So yeah, I'll see you guys later and bye.